What is up, Nug Gang? It is time for another reaction. And I know I'm late, but you know, better late than never. So I'm going to be reacting to Tom McDonald's Angels. He released it on Friday. Today is Monday. Things happen, all right? <laughs> But uh, at the end of this, I will vote if I believe it to be spicy or cringe. So please stick around for my vote. That doesn't mean a damn thing, but I just enjoy doing it just for the heck of it. So uh, stick around for that. Also, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe because those things are super helpful in the YouTube universe. That is my channel. So please do the things. And uh, yeah. I guess it is time. It is time for me to hit the play button because that is what you clicked on this video for. Okay. All right, it's time. Bop. It's not the liquor I'm addicted to, it's feeling brave. The feeling of not feeling the pain I've been on and off the bottle, I put oxys out my nostrils Believe me, you do anything to breathe before you suffocate I couldn't stop it, staying clean was not an option I was trying to be myself, but being me was such a problem I just wanted to be Thomas, but Thomas was at the bottom of a holy dug And getting comfortable inside a coffin This is such like a crazy like switch up from like the last one, you know Best rapper ever When he's like, you know, battling his demons and stuff And this one he's like I'm trying to think of, like, if the word to describe. It's almost like he's accepting where he's been and, like, where he is now. I, so far, I don't know. Ah, it's still too early to tell, but this is definitely a different, different vibe completely than the last one we saw from Tom, which is cool because I love how Tom just gives you all these different sides because... You know, I feel like he's such like a creative artist with the way that he does his music and the way that him and Nova create the like these videos. I don't know, like there's so much symbolism in it. I'm only like 20 seconds in. Jeez. Okay, I'm going to roll it back a bit because I just, it was just a complete switch, you know, like going from this last one where it was like him battling his, his inner self to now like just it's this is a very like warm fuzzy feeling vibe when the other one felt very like confrontational like ah I don't know words are hard right now alright <laughs> alright let, let's continue this because I, I really want to see where this is going Cause, uh, Tom McDonald has surprised me yet again. He, I feel like he will always surprise me, but always in good ways. I've never been like disappointed in anything that he's ever done. So, all right, let's continue. Problem. I just wanted to be Thomas, but Thomas was at the bottom of a holy dug and getting comfortable inside a coffin. <laughs> He locked it and swallowed the key Caught up, forgot all his dreams Robbed at a common, became embalmed in a toxic routine Beer was the escape, but I got stuck escaping Whiskey was the blanket in the coldest basement Way before the fame, I was wasted Freezing, doing anything I could to keep the flame lit To anyone going through the same Heaven's got enough angels, you need to stay here And I can't make you stay But sometimes going ain't a choice and every choice you make is one that you didn't avoid Crash the whip and ditch the car Burn a bridge, follow the stars Go find monsters in the dark But nothing's worth it till it's hard Sometimes it's hard to see things clear Through your tears But anywhere is way better than here Fight your fear it's not the liquor I'm addicted to, it's feeling tough When you get bullied half your life you feel weak like you just ain't enough to stop because like before he before he sang that part when he mentioned about angels he's like there's already enough you should stay here I couldn't help but think of my brother you know like you know my brother committed suicide so it's like 
Man, every day I wish, like, I could trade places with my brother. Like, I wish every day my brother was still here. And, you know, like, and I've struggled with depression and anxiety and stuff for years. And I came very close um, to ending my life. And, uh, I understand the struggles. I understand the pains. It's like... It's almost like you feel like the life that you're living right now is unbearable. But at the same time, what's so crazy with it is that you feel like, even though like you feel so horrible at that time in your life, that at this time or whenever you were feeling the, the lowest of the low, but... Things can only get better once you're at that low. And it's kind of like you appreciate the good things more, I feel like, when you have experienced that. You know, I never have gone through addiction, so I can't relate to, to Tom on that. But depression and anxiety, like, dude, that's been an everyday struggle for me for over a decade. And, you know, some days are hard. Some days you're just like, I can't, I can't deal. I can't do this. And this is such like a good positive message. He's, he's owning where he's been, the challenges that he's, he's faced and he's, he's overcoming and he's wanting others to also do the same is what I'm getting with this, this so far. And I'm... I'm really liking that message, you know, like I, those of you that have been following me for a bit <laughs> have known that I, uh, you know, that I deal with depression and anxiety and that, you know, I've lost a brother to suicide and I've tried to fundraise, you know, for suicide prevention and things like that. So, and mental health things like that's the stuff that's very important to me, um, so I appreciate the words that he's saying right now because I know it's coming from his heart. And I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it in my my innards. <laughs> my innards be feeling it. So, dang. All right. Do we, we like a third down. We a, oh, geez. How are we only a third down? <laughs> and I'm getting so much, like, feels already. The warm and fuzzies. Okay, I rolled it back, and we're going to continue this journey. It's not the liquor I'm addicted to, it's feeling tough. When you get bullied half your life, you feel weak like you just ain't enough. Then you have a couple drinks and you catch a buzz and finally have the courage to defend yourself and throw a punch. And that adrenaline goes straight into your brain and blood. Addicted to the confidence is practically the greatest drug. Chasing dragons every night in all the latest clubs. What used to be your favorite thing somehow became a dangerous crutch. It was what it was. And that's the thing, it can happen to like any of us. I had great parents, tight friends, strong morals, nice threads, good school, good looking, good grades, time spent. Being normal only lasted for a while. One bad choice sparked a downward spiral. I've spent half my life trying to climb out of that hole. Heaven's got angels, we need you at home. And I can't make you stay, but sometimes going ain't a choice. And every choice you make is one that you didn't avoid. Crash the whip and ditch the car, burn a bridge, follow. YouTube, stop trying to buffer on my vibe. This is, ugh, man. Like, I am feeling his words so much right now. Damn it. <laughs> like, did not know it was going to start off all this emotional thing. I mean... The term angels, I feel like, could be construed into so many different things. And... <laughs> you know, but that is true. It's like, whether or not that you are... You have a good family life, good upbringing... Upbringing? I can't talk. Upbringing, um... We live a typical 
normal life. Um, and it takes one bad decision just to kind of like spiral all the way down, which is true. You know, like there's been, I don't want to call them kids. Cause like, I'm like way past like kids, but like people I went to school with, I guess we, well, we were all kids then, but, um, people I went to school with, you know, they were going through, they had some good stuff going for them. And then I find out later, like, they got into drugs and it just, like, their life went downhill. I mean, they had so much promise and so much potential and they just... Bad choices. But then at the same time, some sometimes you can't control certain things you feel. Like, when you have, like, mental health issues, it's not something that you can fix on your own it takes it takes practice it takes time and it takes understanding your triggers and how to manage them but mental health I mean is typically like a chemical imbalance somewhere going on your brain depending on what you have but man this is all up in the feels of my like the innards Right straight in the innards, man. Tom, I love you, man. <laughs> Legit. Oh, God. Tom, you broke YouTube. <laughs> oh, okay. Is that buffering? I know, like, I have really crappy internet service provider. We only have one in my, like, entire city. There's something shady going on with that. I'm just saying. Ah, or okay, sorry. One high-speed internet service. The rest of them, it's like dial-up practically. And if you are old enough to know what dial-up is, you understand the pain. I don't know. I'm rolling it back just in case because I don't. I don't trust the buffering. <laughs> okay. All right. Let Let's continue this emotional roller coaster that I feel like we are now on. <sighs> Wait. You didn't okay. avoid crash the whip and ditch the car burn a bridge follow the Stop buffering. Stars are monsters in the dark but nothing's worth it to it's hard. Sometimes it's hard to see Why? Dang, YouTube's. It's either YouTube's or it's internet provider. Whatever it is, fix yourself. For the love of Baby Yoda, please fix yourself. I want to. I want to listen to the rest of this. I want to watch this. Stop buffering. Oh my jeez. It ain't the liquor we're addicted to, it's everything else. The happiness we had, but we forget how it felt. We've been drinking with the devil because we're going through hell. Pray to God for a little bit of hell. Man, I've been there. I did those things. I drank those drinks. I took those pills. I puked in sinks. And the truth ain't pretty. Listen up, this is a tough one. You get saved by your angels or become one. Crash the whip and ditch the You either get saved by your angels or you become one. Those words right there is probably the, one of the most... Actually, no, I'm going to say that. I'm not, even, I'm not finished with the song, but I feel like it's the most important part of this entire song. God. Tom, dang, with this this warm and fuzzy feeling, and I'm scared to roll it back because I'm scared I'm going to break the YouTubes again. <sighs> I wish it would just cooperate. Why am I on the struggle bus right now? Car, burn a bridge, follow the stars. So find monsters in the dark, but nothing's worth it till it's hard. Sometimes it's hard to see things clear through your tears But anywhere is way better than here Fight your fears
Man. Dude, that was, like, hella powerful. And I know, like, I saw some behind-the-scenes, like, little, like, pictures, because I follow both, of course, Tall Man and Nova. And, um... <laughs> if, yeah, I, I saw some behind-the-scenes of them making this video. And, uh... So I wasn't all sure, like, what was... What it was going on with it, but, like... I mean, this, this song, like, it, it hits, um, you already know what I gotta vote for. Spoisy! Spoisy! Because of the emotional feels. The, the emotional feels. <laughs> and because I feel like the words that he just put in this song speak so much volume, man. And I'm sorry that I had some technical difficulties throughout it sometimes it happens i don't know if it's my crappy computer <laughs> if it's youtube or if it's my crappy internet provider that i can't avoid unless they move like to another city but this i mean we started off with a an emotional one for the night I mean, this was my choice, because I was like, I gotta catch up. And, uh... Dang. This one... This one hits real hard. Tom, you did it again, man. I gotta love it. Um, so yeah, that is gonna be it for this reaction video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, because those things are super important in the YouTube universe. That is my channel. And also, just in case you guys wanted to be really awesome, like me, you can get you one of these awesome drinking vessels, get you a Viking horn to drink from, and actually get it at a discount with using my discount code. And you can get that info by going down below my description of this video. <laughs> And going to norsetradesman.com and then using my discount code SCARLET minus 10 off. Get you 10% off your entire purchase. And they also got some other cool Viking things too. Like I really want the shot glasses and uh, a couple necklaces and um, a sword and an axe. Don't judge me, alright? Nom, 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 nom. Perfect for drinking. Anything, really. Whatever your hearts desire. And also, just let you guys know, because I gotta do some self-promo as well, if you are still here. <laughs> if you are sticking with, through, like, sticking with me through this entire video. Um, up here is my social media, and if you can't read that, it's totally cool, because I understand. Um, but that is also down below in the description of this video. And you guys can follow me on all of my social media, so that way it increases the chances of you guys getting to see my posts. Because social media algorithms are... Bananas? I don't know. But if you follow me all the things, you're bound to hopefully see me somewhere. Anyways, <laughs> so you can follow me on there, and also I have a creative Patreon that you guys can check out uh, my different tiers on there. And if any of those, you know, float your fancy boat, then you can click away on them, and uh, I will see you there on Patreon. So, yeah, that's everything for this video. I've covered the things. So, uh, peace out, Nug Gang. I am out. So, boop.